Oh shoot, we starting, girl, start. Start the show. He said he was ready two minutes ago. <laughs> start the show. Ah, you who is you yelling at? Let my director tell me it's time to go. I'm not video, I'm talking to her, bitch. Yeah, but you got to play matches. All right. All right, Carolina Duke, let's go. First of all, I'm Dan Brand. No, I want to go right at it. Well, you know. Carolina done took two. Oh, hello, hello. Let's, yeah. let's have a moment of silence for our producer because he's a dude fan. Okay. You think we give a <laughs> about your moment of silence? I want this shit to go beep, beep, <laughs> mother All this. Car Hill All Nation. This. <laughs> That's what the up? is going on. We took you and swept it. Oh, ass. Zaya didn't play. <laughs> Zaya didn't play. Oh, we lost two stars. We lost two stars. Bruh. It's a fucking robbery. <laughs> Robert. Rival. 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 Mm-hmm. You got Rival. it. Rival. Strong with it. That's what it is? Yeah. So it don't matter. Doesn't coach matter. Coach K knew he won't play it. What was your game plan? Not nothing. Dude can't that's shoot the, the that's three. That's the best coach in college basketball. They can't shoot the three. That's crazy. Can't shoot the three. That's the first time I've ever I've seen white boys that can't shoot. At Woo! Open? What? I'm talking about I pulled that thing like that. And KK. Jack White, Alex O'Connor. It happens. Poor guy. Shouts out to my boy, Ponytail. Kobe White. Without the ponytail, we're nothing. Kobe? Know that. I think it's just when he swooshes the whole thing out, he's a whole different cat. Krikachi. Like, it's just so I just want him to just one day on the court just do the macarena because his ponytail. He doesn't wear a ponytail. He wears his hair out. It's, he but, puts a but headband it's a head, on. Once you put the headband, once you put the headband one inch past your hairline, it becomes a ponytail. A ponytail. Oh, okay. Carol Zara should be his first sponsorship. Woo! Shout out to Carol if you see her. I don't know what ingredients he uses in his curls, but his <laughs> curl game is popping. Listen, natural mm. hair game on fleet. That boy is fierce. Okay, so Carolina won first round by 16. Bow! Second time they won by nine. Look, his face is so tight. <laughs> we should show a picture of him one, just like we a should. picture with this on the social should. media. This, so, so you see his tight face. <laughs> that shit crazy. Played for a minute without yeah. Zion. Mm. First game. Mm. Played for two minutes. Second game. Mm. Out bolded. Mm. Whole MCI, MCL spray. That's not our fault. Right. And so now, even though, despite all that, Zion still won ACC Player of the Year. How? Won the Rookie Player of the Year. How? They looked at the entire body of work despite a they couple look, they games. They looked at his entire body. That's what they looked at. <laughs> he is a man child. That's what it is. But despite, you know, a couple games off, he's, I mean, can, you have to give that to him, though. He is an incredible player. No? Kobe. First team, all ACC, Zion Williamson, R.J. Barrett, DeAndre Hunter from Virginia, Cameron Johnson from North Carolina, and Kyle Guy from Virginia. Is that fair assessment? You, you mad Kobe ain't up there? Kobe don't get the go. Second team. Are you upset? What? <laughs> How do you going to do this to Kobe? Because Kobe came on late. No. He man. didn't exactly start out. And he was he was rusty during the first Carolina Duke match. And? You have to admit. And I mean, so those type of things where your team is He not, don't even shoot. He just throw the ball up. He don't even shoot. He has a nice shot. Mm. Ponytail bounce back. That's it. <laughs> so you're saying there's no real art form to it? He just is no. just natural. He's he like just that, that shit status up. where he just throws You know, some go. people line it up. You see the elbow. You see right. the hang. He just. Right. And then his hands is already down. Mm-hmm. Ponytail bounce. <laughs> But what happened to Duke, though? Is Zion that energy? And he, is he that effect to where you cannot function without Z- the Zion effect? This is my thing. Okay. Injuries are a part of every sport. Everyone. Every single sport. All period. The time. Point blank, period. Yes. You can't sit here and say these games don't count. Mm-hmm. As a coach, when you have a player go down, change up your game plan. You have to. Nothing changed. Yes. But people are saying, despite Carolina winning, it doesn't. They don't. They're not validated. There's not. There's no validation in their wins. If they even win the whole ACC tournament, it's not validated if Zion doesn't play. So if they don't meet up in the semifinals for a third time, third round with a Zion, uh-huh. they're gonna say there's not validation in their. Has wins. there been any year where Carolina has a major injury by a point guard of? Is it Kendall? Kendall Marshall. When we lost, when, so when we People lost, saying, why y'all holding on to that? So, so when we lost Kendall Marshall, uh-huh. the number one point guard in the NCAA, yeah, going into the tourney run, broke his whole arm, broke his whole arm. <laughs> Even during the game, had a player swipe at it to try to re-injure. I ain't forget that white boy, mm. huh? Yeah, come on now. Crate was a Creighton. <laughs> so that don't count. That's not a problem. But we, so people are saying you should have won the tournament then, and we are still holding on to that. And Duke, so, Duke should have won them two games. 
Okay. You still have three All Americans on the floor. But was it going into the season? Wasn't RJ the guy? RJ Barrett was. RJ the guy. was the guy. Okay. RJ. Right. He was. Everybody was. Like, RJ was Zion. RJ was Zion. RJ. 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 What did he do? And now what? Get get fouled. Trey Jones, defensive stopper. He's the, he's all defensive team. <laughs> all that. Who? <laughs> Charge. <laughs> Shout out to Kenny Williams. <laughs> 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 Kenny Williams, who got three charges against RJ. Had it. Okay. Tour! Heels! So being an energy god yourself, how important is your energy to teammate to be having an effective show? It has to be high. Yeah. It has to. Because you know what the thing is? There's a lot of people who are doing things they don't want to do. It's a lot of people who 100%. work a job they don't want to do. Every they have to wake up every morning. They're miserable. And sometimes you got to remind yourself, yo, it's not about the money. It's about what we're doing. Do you know we're about to go out here and we're getting paid? Mm-hmm. Whether it, whether we sell out or not. Mm-hmm. You know so We're not taking no losses. We're getting paid and we're taking a bet on us to make people laugh. Right. We're get, people paid $40, $50 to see you to make them have a good day. How... Can you not get excited about that? That's real. And how can you not get up for that? Have to. Have to. And in the moment you don't care or realize that's what's going on, I don't want to work with people like that. Mm. So, you being an energy god, and this being our show, mm. give me the energy. Like, you're about to come out, start the Bay podcast. How are you going to get us going? I'm going to roll two blunts. <laughs> okay. Just to get the nerves, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. I'm going to play that 2 chains, okay. Money in the Way. I'm going to get my little rock on, okay. you know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm going to think about you. That's the intro to the one race episode of The Shop. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. LeBron was in that. AD was in that. All right. AB was in that. Mm-hmm. Jamie Foxx was in that. 2 chains was in that. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. And then I'm jacked up. And then you're ready and then I'm to coming go. in. I'm like, Ken, you ready to make history? All right. You ready to do this? Yeah. How you feel? Yeah, I'm good. Because you're really good at this shit, but you like to downplay your talent. Then yeah. I have to get you jacked up. Then you like, I am the shit. I just feed off And then once you the yeah. shit, then it's shit. See, she's trying to hold it in. <laughs> Somebody has to be the <laughs> But she's really jacked up right now. <laughs> she really want to roar. But she's I am excited for my team, though. Like, shout out to the Carolina guys for holding it down because... All season, people have been sleeping on us. People have been saying that Number we don't have to good, uh, Have to win the tournament. They have to at least beat Duke. Arguably, that's think they need to beat Virginia. If they beat Duke, they'll be the number one team. We owe it to Virginia, right? Yeah. That's tough. That's real tough. Mm. Um, and Virginia is a sleeper team that pisses me off because they play so slow and I can't stand that. Virginia plays Spurs 90s basketball. Yeah, and I do love the Spurs and the 90s, but... <laughs> Not when it comes to against my Carolina Tar Heels. So, I so who's your favorite UNC team of all time? Oh, God, Jesus Christ! On the spot. Who was on? Was that? Mm. I need that that Ed Coda. Okay. Was he with Shamar Williams? Was Ed Coda and Shamar in the backcourt? Before my time, but I can give it to you. I think so. I mm-hmm. think that was together. Yeah. And it was either who was they? It was it was because was it Rashid and Antoine was together, right? No, it was Vince and Antoine. Yeah. Vince and Antoine and Rashid and Stackhouse. Mm-hmm. I'm a, Vince and Antoine was amazing. It really was. But that Jerry and Rashid. <laughs> Can you imagine? Was a problem. Big time. Lethal. Jerry Stackhouse, because he was the next Jordan. Shout out to five. He was, I'm talking about, I mean, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Vince was that nip. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but Jerry but Stackhouse. Off rip. Jerry Stackhouse, he was like, <laughs> woo, and there was I, she. <laughs> and you know, she was our, he was our hood. He was our right. one hood. Right. We always need one. We I think that's my greatest five. Shout out to Rasheed also for, um, he's the new head football coach, head basketball coach. For Durham High School. Now I mean, they, Jordan High School. Now, they about to be packed out because they just want to see Rasheed. Yeah. How about his players didn't know who he was? Had him look up his highlights. Google him. Ain't that crazy? It's a different generation, Can man. Can you imagine? Like, when you come, when you go start to be real famous for real. Who? They gonna have Coach to Wallace? Who the hell is that? Rasheed. Rasheed, so what you gonna call An him? NBA champion. <laughs> back, is he back to back? He got two of the Pistons? Or did he get one? He one. Yeah. Ball don't lie. He got a tech for staring. You calling him Coach Wallace or Coach Sheed or She? Yeah, ain't nobody calling him Wallace. <laughs> Coach Wallace? Hell yeah. no, that's not respect. right. Okay, you need to go call him Coach She. Yeah, we're gonna run a two three zone. Mm. So, what's your favorite UNC Duke matchup? If you can think of one. When we win. 
Anytime, Any, anytime we, win. we win. Okay. I, you know what? As much as hype goes into those games, mm-hmm. I hate those games. Make you so nervous. I, I don't even because there'd be some years where we're supposed to blow it out. Twenty point victory, and we get drunk. <laughs> On both sides. Oh, um, in Chapel Hill and sh- in Durham. But it's crazy. Joseph Forte years. That's how you know, though, that that's how much the rivalry means to you because it doesn't matter what any scores are. I don't, anything. as long as we win, I don't care. We, we could do, not, we could go to the NIB. This, this is the type of rivalry Duke and Carolina is. Okay. We're both, we're, we won't play each other till February. Yeah. For but sure. we'll keep the same type column wins and losses. Yeah. It's like when Duke loses, we love to lose the same day <laughs> or the day after. When Carolina right. loses, Duke, like, we, we don't even. Gotta keep it fair. It's so stressful, man. So, do you think these Tar Heels are real contenders? Yes. NCAA contenders? Yes. Championship? Yes. Okay. I like I like the body of our bigs. Okay. But ain't that crazy? So, keys to winning a championship, an NCAA championship, kind of like securing a bag in the entrepreneurial world. Because you can be like one and done, survive in advance. It's all about getting to your next thing to get your ultimate bag. So, what do you think would be, you know, your keys to securing your bag in this entrepreneurial world? Uh, just being consistent, being current, making sure you uh, have backup plans and make sure you find a way. Once you get the bag, mm-hmm. make sure you make the bag make money for you. There's, mm-hmm. when there's, there's, you know, once you hit six figures, say you got six figures, like are you? if you come from a background where you didn't have much, are you ever going to spend that much money on anything? I don't need a Rolex. I don't need two cars. I don't need a house. Like, I, don't, I don't need five houses. So when you get to a point like that, like, Take that twenty thousand, that thirty thousand, and invest that so you're making residual income as you're making money along the way. Yeah. You gotta be smart. You have to, man. And you have to save. Because one thing about chasing your dream, you always invest in yourself. Mm-hmm. Period. Flights. Hotel. Everybody don't book that stuff for food. you. It's food. Oh my right. God. <laughs> the most money I spend is on food. Comfort. Easily. Yeah. Cause your level of comfort changes. You know, when you first start off, you <laughs> you were staying that days in. I was about to say you were staying that days in with the outside door. You know what I'm talking about? The outside door hotel. You know you don't come up when you get on the inside. Okay, now when you ele- in the, when you, you got when you get on the inside, your, gym, and your hotel got a little gym and a little cafe. Yeah, the things change. Then you go from that eighty nine ninety nine to that one sixty <laughs> a night. Things change. I don't stay in uh, hotels that you can see the number on the outside. Though. Hello? I do not. Got to be on the little corner. <laughs> and I don't stay in hotels that do this. My hotel goes, can you scan? Ooh, Hello? All right, we're going to come up. I we're going to look bougie. I got points. <laughs> all right, so speaking of comfort, there's little things that made me uncomfortable going on in the NBA right now. Russell Westbrook, I don't know if you saw, <laughs> got into it a little bit at, with the Utah Jazz. You and your wife. You and your wife. Can get it. All love it. Right. And that's on my mama. <laughs> Take a sip. Throw the cup down. What's up? You still talking? So how serious is it when you say on everything I love? It's not a game. Not a game. Because he's because you gotta understand Russ continued to stare. Right. Like once you take a sip and you still stare and you throw the bottle down and you still you know he got on ice on his knees he kind of tired and he's still like no I really want that you to adrenaline understand started to get up. I really want you to understand like think about that clip when my homeboy from uh, the Rams mm-hmm. went to the stands mm-hmm. what's that you say son <laughs> come again come again <laughs> hey, like that it get real out there you gotta understand man athletes. So last people, we're human. Absolutely. First, Charles Barkley told y'all that human. With the I'm, and you have to be let people know that you're with the smoke. You have you, listen. Certain people let you know that they're with the smoke. Russell Westbrook is with the smoke. When Rasheed Wallace lets you know he's with the smoke, you don't try him. When Dennis, you know Michael Jordan beat up every teammate, <laughs> but who? Dennis Robin. Absolutely. Because Dennis Robin told him, look. Different kind of crazy. I'm with the smoke, Mike. <laughs> kind of I'll beat your ass. B- baller. No. What's up? <laughs> That's real. You have to let people know you with the smoke. Yeah. I'm not mad at what Russ. I remember when they said something to the little boy who hit Russ. Yeah. That little boy wasn't with no like, superstar tap. Like, oh, that's Russell. He was also like, ah. That pissed me off. Because you ain't, first of all, where your daddy at? You ain't had no business touching that man. And why is your daddy not like, back, back? Like, what are you doing? Why aren't you... <laughs> you should have brought him dead. That was, they want a black mama with him. Oh the black my! And he was off that night. Like that's that, right. like, bro. Just think about people comfort zones. Like for me, when I even walk through the airport and yeah. I got my headphones on, it's when people, when people go up and be like, oh, when they clutch, when they clutch underneath, not when something. they clutch underneath. It take everything out of me. Yeah. 
not to slap the shit out of you. Okay. That's so rude. Yeah. Like to grab, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Think about it. If I'm walking mm-hmm. and I got on headphones, and, I know you fans, but like, cool. why would you grab somebody like that? Because they don't know that. You, they think you're untouchable. They think you're this, like, you know, idol being. That's how you get slapped across the face. Now you now you got a whole. So you tell everybody you with the smoke. Here I'm now. with the oh, oh. I'm with the smoke. <laughs> You can ask my wallet out, castmates. <laughs> you can ask friends from the crib. You can ask Ooh. Aggies. I'm with the smoke. Yeah. All of it. I wish I wasn't with the smoke mm-hmm. sometimes, but unfortunately, I am. I know because you think I was a swimmer and I was in <laughs> Carolina that I'm not with the smoke. Oh, you're with the smoke. 100%. You're with the smoke. Absolutely. Yeah. I, if any, any, if ever any point that we get too famous for this podcast, just know that don't come up to me. I don't, go, with, I don't go out with any people who ain't trained to go. <laughs> TTG for Woo! yes, I don't. you have to. I know because you have to move differently when you reach a certain level. <sighs> so if you don't know how to move with me, I should better make eye contact, and that means we're leaving. Right, bet gone already. It ain't even two o'clock, one thirty-eight. So do you think he should have just told the security guard, "Hey, you know, I gotta go." Security's definitely a fault. Yeah. So once you hear somebody disrespecting the player, your job is to step in, sure, and protect that player. Not you ain't protect the fans, right? You're protecting the player. Yeah, and the fan came up and you when you run it back, all his tweets, he was mad disrespectful. Mad, he's all about my, MAGA country and Ooh. talking junk about Russell. So don't think people can't find your stuff. Ooh. People will black Twitter found him. It's, they found him it's within twenty four hours. Oh, he was banned. He wouldn't have been banned otherwise. Had they not found the rest of his tweets where he was talking junk, he mm. wouldn't have been banned. Black Twitter got that. Listen, it is Utah, right? So it's Ooh, like it's already. Come on, it's already red. It's country. already yeah. <laughs> Great scenery already, though. Is it? You I think. There? I've never. I've seen okay. it in magazines. <laughs> Why are you choking on your water? Okay. The best to never get a ring. We're talking about the NFL. Oh, man. Best to never get a ring. Ever? I said the Carolina Panthers. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That hurt. That hit, that hit that home. Hard. That hit home. That hurt hard. That hit home. Randy Moss. Randy. Barry Sanders. Barry. That's a lot of way. If now, Odell right? doesn't come together, then it's going to be Odell, too. Well, we can't talk about players now. They all got a chance now. Do they? Uh, Erlacher never got a ring. He didn't? Sayal, Junior Sayal never got a ring. Yeah, poor Junior. Rest Dan Marino was... never got a ring. Yeah. I never watched him, though, so I can't really say, like, oh, yeah, he was so incredible. Mm. Mm. Anybody else? The Falcons. <laughs> you just want to throw that in there? Nah, they went twice and lost twice too. Fuck that. <laughs> Don't be a hater your whole life. NFC South's looking good though. Are they? For, for who? Mm. The Saints. The Panthers are ridding themselves of the old guys. <sighs> Trying to clean house. We're building. Players who overstayed their welcome. Anybody? Are you, what's going on? What's, who's overstayed their going, welcome? What is going on with you today? Greg Why are you Austin, acting like this? Would you want Greg Olsen the time to go? Why are you acting like this today? Davis. You know what? Let's Welcome do this, guys. How about the Giants? Mm. How are they doing? Huh? Well, Talk about have, the Giants, Coop. We have a um, uh, GM. And Barkley by himself, huh? We have an owner and a GM. Barkley got to throw it to himself. I got it. David yeah. Gettleman, if I had, if I could talk to you for a second, dash. Um, if I had a few choice words, why are you continuing to pay people that you don't have on your team, dog? Why would you get rid of our number one receiver? I don't care if he wants to go play with his friend. I don't care. Why'd you lie? Show the you clip. Sat there. Show the clip of Baker Mayfield dancing. I hate Baker Mayfield. And oh, you sat there and told us to our face that why would we pick up and offer Odell Beckham all that money is that just the to first trade time, him? Is that the first time a white dude lied to you? To my face. <laughs> he wasn't in your face. <laughs> he was. I was at the press conference. How you know where I was at? Trying to clock me. Sorry. Okay. So, anyway. I am very upset about that. It's, Barkley. It's... <laughs> and y'all got... Did y'all get rid of uh, Collins too? Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you jumped on that one. <laughs> y'all conference week this year anyway, so. I mean, No. Uh, C- Collins went to the Redskins. Oh, he did. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> the Cowboys looking straight. <laughs> Mind the- you, they did have that one player who said he was quitting. He was on Instagram Live. Smoking weed. Yeah, Irving. Yeah. He was over it. 
You think he would ever do that? And hey, listen. Give, that, up, that, give up your give up your livelihood because they banned a substance you can't use. I mean, he's just saying I would rather smoke instead of pills. Yes. Okay. And you already got that bag. If you did what you're supposed to do, sh- why not? Okay. Because if you get on them pills, man, it's a different life. It's different. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of players in the league who smoke. Mm-hmm. A lot of quarterbacks, mm-hmm. owners, coaches. Oh, okay. Just, coaches too? Just legalize it. Owner? Legalize. Just legalize it. Legalize, legalize it for you know America or legalize it for your sport? The world. Don't test for it. The world. Okay. maybe Or maybe they can be less stringent on the rules. But do you want to see a guy high as a kite trying to run and tackle somebody? Yes, because he'll probably go off. Do you know how hard <laughs> you have to play through your hardness? <laughs> the hardest hits. Mm-hmm. And you won't feel slight of it because you high? Oh, man. But when you come down, won't you feel all of that? Just spark one right at halftime spark and get back in the right game. Back up. So they should have, like, spark. So you could be a spark. <sighs> I had a team job. They should have I'm weed. They should have weed in the little, the little air pump they use when uh, they tired. The they should already have a little. Just, just have put it, it on. I got y'all back, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of people overstaying their welcome, what is a sign that it's time to go? So we're talking about teams trading, free agency. And in life, talking about relationships. It's, I don't think it's ever somebody's time to go. I think it's the money. Oh. I think these teams really would want their players that they have been there for years to mm-hmm. stay. But it comes to a point where you're like, I can't, you know, I got to think about the team and not the player. Mm. So it's like, I can't continue to pay this 34-year-old $5 million a year mm-hmm. when this $5 million can go to four boys on the, on the practice squad who are beasts right now. And hungry. And hungry and okay. starving. All so right. now where I got four bodies who risking to do it all. For the price of one. Yeah, it's for 20. somebody for got somebody it. who only work out when it's really time to play. <laughs> Whole OTA there on the car. Are you trying to call us some of your players? No, I'm just saying in general. Oh, okay. I watch a lot of sports. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about the old uh, Panthers defense. No, I'm talking about a lot of hard knocks. Yeah. Oh, like it's we, a hard knock. Even when you see the veterans. Like when you watch the hard knocks on HBO. What hard knock team are you trying to see this season? I think because Odell went to they the They should Browns, bring the Browns back. They got to. They got to bring the Browns Odell, back. Odell, Juice Landry. Chubbs. Baker, May- Baker Mayfield. Kareem Hunt. Yeah. David and Joe. They got Kareem Hunt for less than a million. They're going to be disgusting. They're going to the score. The AFC. They're going to score 50 points a game. Have to. It's and you got game. Baker Mayfield. Ah, ah, ah. I can't say I'm Baker Mayfield. Ha, ah, ah, you got love Baker. Can you imagine what if Johnny Manziel has stayed? What kind of team that would have been? Nah, Johnny ain't no Baker. Johnny's no Baker? Baker's cold, man. Is he? Baker came in and, first of all, the Browns had a winning. Did they have a winning season? No. It was close to it. They, I think they batted close to 500. <sighs> I don't like the way Baker handled the Hugh Jackson situation. Who cares? He's a kid. Like, stop saying who cares. It's a respect thing. Yes, care. He's Who cares about being a kid? You're a grown, you're a grown man in this league. It's a grown man league, huh? Oh, okay. He went back to the Bengals. All right. <clears throat> NFL combine. Was anybody you were impressed by? Um, the big boys running. <laughs> and what it, do you it, think you can run in the forty? Right now, right now, four and one. You've been, four one. Okay. And I said for real. <laughs> <laughs> this is a real show. We're trying to ask. You be nice. Six five. <laughs> <laughs> you want you be rich? I see. Uh, six five. Rich ran a six zero. Oh, hold on. Rich, rich, rich ran a six zero. <laughs> Yeah, six five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think the get up that you. If you I actually think, trade for it, though, you think you can still do that six five or better? I don't know, man. I could probably get like a, I could probably. I feel like, like you have the one. I could get a late four. The one, if you they if they gave you a ten day. Ten day. To just train to go six five or under, would you do it? Oh, I'm, I'm definitely six under. Okay. I'm definitely under six. Okay, for a ten day contract in the NFL. Ten plays. Play for the Panthers. Ten plays. Ten plays. Ten plays, not ten days. Ten plays. <laughs> so you don't want ten first days? Play, first player ever in NFL history <laughs> to get a ten play contract. What's your position? D. Oh, okay. I'm off the edge. You quick off, but you got to go at least. <laughs> <laughs> Release. You got to have a 5-5 five, five for that. Woo! Mm. Can you imagine? I can't imagine. Can you imagine being in the trenches of football? <laughs> And you ain't played in 10 years, and it's an offensive lineman. It's a running play, and all you got to do is pancake you. Hey! And you don't come up fast enough. <laughs> and all you got is... Rah, rah. And then after they pancake you, they use you to get up. 
but you know how much people would come out to see that for you and support you? Like that whole a and the whole a and t crowd would be there. Ah, yeah, ah, yeah. You would have you would have the jokers laughing. Ready. <laughs> see. You know what? Release. We're gonna work on getting. Uh, that was my tackle. What's up? It was okay. We gotta work on that um, episode at training camp to have you out outside. Here. Yeah. With the ladder? Yeah. Man, that was I've slow. been going. That slow. You hear it slow. I can't hear it right that way. Golly. Mm, so, what position does your team need most in NFL combine? We need some O line help. We need some O line. Mm. I think we need some. I think we need a safety. He's the Panthers, by the way. We need somebody. Asking. We need somebody back there with Action Jackson. Okay. And we need one more receiver. We need a receiver who is scared to be that number one. Y'all don't have a – I don't think number one one, like, fresh out yet. DJ and Curtis are trying, but – Yeah. Yeah. They get there. We need a receiver. Yeah. Um, Giants. We need a quarterback. Quarterback, receiver, defense, coach, general manager, everything but a running back. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, I'm kind of sad still to this day trying to get over it, but here we are. So does combine matter? You feel like? No. Okay. Shouts out to my boy Kyle Love. He plays for the Panthers. He was a sixth round draft pick, and look at him. Mm-hmm. Got two uh, forced fumbles this year. It turned into wins. Mm-hmm. Um, just hard work, man. Just hard work. I know a lot of players. Look at AP. AB, sixth round. Mm-hmm. Tom Brady, sixth round. So I don't think the combine means shit. Combine, not Co- Columbine. I don't think the Columbine means shit. Columbine is a shooting. Combine. combine. I don't think the combine means shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh! So, in AFC, I just, the Columbine is that, like, shooting, you know? Woo! Okay. So, NFC free, or NFC AFC free agency. Um, the Jets picked up our boy, James, Jameson Crowder, who played for Duke. Uh, you know him? Trey Flowers. Mm-hmm. Rally guy. Going to the Lions. Nick Foles, going to the Jaguars. I like that. Kevin Johnson, who played at Wake Forest, is going to the Bills. Quan Alexander. It's going to the 49ers. That's good. Yeah. Danny Amendola is going to the Lions. Play uh, with this guy. How much long, How much longer he got? Uh, Amendola got how many rings? Three? Yeah. He just getting money at this point. Who do you think uh, is going to get Justin Houston? I don't know. When I was upset <laughs> at my boy. Houston, go Dogs, Georgia. That's my boy. Houston, you're my boy. Hey, go Dogs. Um, he'll, get, so he'll get picked up. Like he had like 15 mil left on that contract. It got real. Right. But I think he was worth it. Oh, yeah. And Chiefs were stupid. Five-time Pro Bowl? Um, QB action. The Redskins get Case Keenum. They need somebody. <laughs> Old leg, bro. Anybody. <laughs> so I, I, that's why I don't understand why. Ray! He, he can't switch positions in the middle of the show. Who can? <laughs> oh, it's your, resume. it's your 10 day. Got it. 10 day. Terrell Suggs. Well, no, Hold on, don't tell me what I'm talking about. He went to, I saw it, where this uh, is go? Cardinals. Yeah. I think that's Cardinals is where players go to die. I don't say that. Emmett Smith. Hmm. Kurt, is it Kurt Warner go there? Is that him? No. Maybe. After the St. Louis stuff, yeah. Terry and Matthew going to the Chiefs. Good, good pickup. Good pickup? Good pickup. Houston couldn't do him in Clowney. Mm. Got to pay somebody. That's real. 49ers got D Ford. Speaking of the uh, Chiefs. Football has no loyalty. No loyalty. But then people want to be mad at guys who don't say or want contracts or beg for contracts. Ain't that crazy? Bell going to the Jets. Are the Jets making noise this season? Bell are going to the Jets. The Jets are making noise this Sam season. Sam Arnold. Darnold. Who? Sam Darnold. Darnold. There you go. Darnold Arnold. <laughs> I know you're not talking about me, Columbine. Combine. Combine? Rivalry. Rivalry. Yeah, exactly. When did this become a speech? Speech impediments? Um, got anything else? Positive word. <laughs> playoffs coming up. Yeah. Which so playoffs? NBA. Oh, okay. So, and college playoffs coming up. March Madness. Okay. So, with playoffs coming up. March Madness. And Sorry, all these the championships coming up. Uh-huh. Prepare to win. Do what you got to do to win. What's, what is your preparation, game day preparation going in? For a comedy show? Yeah. Woo! Get to the hotel, take a oh. little nap, smoke a blunt, wake up, hit the gym. Oh, okay. Get some cardio in, get a little chest. I like to, I like to, I like to hit the chest. Do you have to have gym. strong cardio like, to be on stage and stuff? I do, because I'm very active. A lot of, some comedians just stand there, but I'm... 
I may go into the crowd. I don't know what I'm going to do with my shows. I have no direction. I have no idea. Have you um, ever like, been out of breath during your show? Oh, absolutely. When I was chunky chunky. Oh. Woo! Woo! Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they be thinking I'm laughing, but I'm really trying to get my breath back. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. Positive word. Kick us off. Mm, positive word. If you're gonna do it, do it. Mm. Stop talking about it. Mm. Be about it. If you're gonna do it, that was my if you're gonna start that podcast okay. you've been talking about doing, yeah. do it. It takes nothing to start a podcast. If you're gonna get into the gym, do it. Yeah, get right. If you wanna chase your shit, like for real, if you want that, like do it. Stop, <laughs> stop, stop talking. Yeah. Stop talking. Mine's be about it. So don't 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 keep saying you want things and you're not putting in the work. I can't talk about my weight and then not go work out. Come on now, stop talking. About I can't it. talk about you know these goals and aspirations and not go do them. You gotta take baby steps. Everything don't have to be. You don't jump in all money in bets all. You could be smart about it. I start, Nike That's one is simple. It's just do it. Just, just do, do it. it. Just smile. I think a lot of people happiness. Be happy. Life's too short. It really Way is. too short. You don't know how you're gonna go and you don't know when it's gonna be your time. So you really have to be. Um, happy and it starts by simply just being grateful having mm. a thankful heart you know just sim- the simple things because those will eventually become big things mm. so being grateful for the small stuff you must have read Oprah book huh I had some Oprah I did channel my Oprah a little bit that was good yeah give me some alright bye 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 out of there